Hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm pretty good. Thank you. It's good um, to see you guys again. How was your day? How was your day? Good? Bad? Perfect. Perfect. Oh, wow. I like that. That's excellent. Everybody's day was perfect? Yes? No? Was your day perfect? How was your day, everybody? How, how was your day, Sebastiana? It was very good. It was good? Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, good. What about Ana Ruth? How was your day? Good. Oh, it's okay. It was okay? Not, not too bad? Was it tiring? Was it yes. Tiring? Yeah? Mm, okay. Yeah. Well, the good thing is that it's the end of the day, so you can rest a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right. Um, so we are going to start by taking the attendance. Okay. Um, so we'll start with Ana Isela Janis. Ana Isela Janis. No? Okay. Ana Ruth Perez? Present. Wonderful. Great. Carlos Ernesto Flores? Carlos Ernesto Flores? Okay. Diana Cristabel Melendez? Diana Cristabel Melendez? Gerardo Jose Tepas. No. Gerardo Jose Tepas, no. Ok. Eh, Jose Mauricio Martínez. Present. Excellent. Thank you. Buena Margarita Sea. Buena Margarita Sea. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Okay. Um, eh, Laura Lizette Peña. Laura Lizette Peña. Perfect. Ah, wonderful. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Lorena Araceli Hernández. No. My goodness, we're missing lots of people. Eh, me dice Cecilia Beltrán. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Mirna del Carmen Ruano. Mirna del Carmen Ruano. Es. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Excellent. Roberto Carlos Alparo. Present. All right. Salvador Antonio Martinez. Present. Excellent. 
Um, Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Tamara Eugenia Aguilar. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. And Ursula Adriana Burgos. Ursula Adriana Burgos. Ursula. My goodness, we're missing lots of people today. Okay. All right. So last class, we were talking about quantifiers. You guys remember a little bit about quantifiers? Yeah. What? Are, so we were looking at um, the verbs, sorry, the nouns that are countable and uncountable. So I'm going to give you examples and you tell me if it's countable or uncountable. So like, for example, mm, pollution. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Pollution. Uncountable. 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 We cannot count pollution. Very good. Mm, parking spaces. Parking spaces. Countable. Countable. It's countable because we say it's parking spaces. The spaces part makes it countable. But if I just say parking, what happens? It's uncountable. It's yeah. countable. Exactly. Yeah. So parking. Spaces is countable because we have the word spaces, but if I just say um, parking, it'd be uncountable. Okay, all right. Now we if we use how many for countable or uncountable? How many? Countable. 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 Very good. And we use how much for? Uncountable. Uncountable. Very good. Okay. Any questions um, about that information? Okay. All right. In that case, um, tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Good. All right. So this um so these are the questions. Um you can say, are there many apartment buildings? How much traffic is there? How many dance clubs are there? And so on. Those were some of the questions that we talked about last class, right? So we, we actually made these questions to our classmates. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're going to do this part B, which is says, write questions like those in part A about these topics, about cafes, crimes, park, pollution, public transportation, school, traffic lights. Okay, so you're going to create questions. Do we understand? Yes. Okay, all right. So I'm going to leave this on right now so you can look at the questions and you look at the topic and you're gonna create the questions. I'm gonna get individually, I'm gonna give you a chance to create the questions. Okay. Okay. Do you understand what to do? Okay. It's clear what to do? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. All right, very good. All right, go ahead and start working on it.
You can ask me any questions. You can ask as many questions as you want. Okay, thank you. How many have you done? Have you already finished three? Minimum three? Yes? No? Are you guys finished already? Guys, I need your response. Are you guys finished? Not yet. Not yet, teacher. teacher. Okay, have you have you done at least three or four? Okay. No, I, I'm asking. I'm asking. Have you done at least three or four? Mm, no. 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 How many have you done? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you two more minutes to the make the, the rest of the questions. Okay, two more minutes, that's it. And of course you can always ask me questions. Okay. Are we ready? Ready to check? No? Thirty seconds. We have thirty seconds to finish the questions. Okay. All right, guys. So what we're going to do now, now that you have created the questions, we're now going to go into um, our breakout rooms and we're going to be asking our 
or a classmate those questions. So you can ask, for example, are there um, many cafes? Um, obviously, we're talking. We're still talking about your neighborhood, right? So, are there many cafes, or is there much crime there? Or how much crime is there? Et cetera, et cetera. Okay. All okay. right. Are you guys ready now? We're gonna put you guys into breakout rooms. Okay, let me just make sure. Vienna, are you on in two devices right now or no? Yes, yeah, teacher. Where's the other one? Vienna, you're in two devices? Yes. Está con dos, dos. No, este, solo cuando voy a hacer así grupos. Me quito el celular porque se me traba. Okay. Entonces, ajá, solo para asistencia es que mejor conecto la cámara porque entonces después ya no me deja conectarme en el celular. Ok, no problem, no problem. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, Catherine Suleima? Yes, I will participate. Wonderful. Ok. And Gerardo José? Gerardo José? Not here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, just give me a second, guys, while I create the groups. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Let's open up the rooms. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes, can you hear me? Um, so so. Okay, just a moment. <clears throat> Okay, you're going to have to ask each other the questions. Ask your partner the questions. Okay. Created. Are there many apartment buildings? And there are not there. Are. Okay. How much traffic is there? Not too much, maybe three traffic there are. Okay. How many dance clubs are there? Hey, are there many pipes? Uh, no, there aren't. It doesn't exist. Okay. Is there much pollution? Okay. 
<clears throat> How many swimming pools are there? Mm, no, there are. Okay. Is there much parking? Yes, there are two to parking. Okay. Okay, um, now I'm gonna ask you. <clears throat> okay. Are, are there many apartment building? No, there aren't many apartments. How much traffic is there? Um <clears throat> no isn't traffic in here. How many dance clubs are there? Yes, there are many clubs dance. That's is clubs. there is there much noise? Yes. There are much noise. <clears throat> are there many payphones? No, they aren't. Hi, can you hear me? Como? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Um, uh, the, sí, the, sí, sí, the, ahorita sí. The expression is there, is, is there. Okay, how did you feel with those questions? Were they easy, difficult? Tell me about it. Did you have problems with it or no problem? No problem, teacher. No problem. Hmm. Oh, okay, everything was easy then. Yeah? Yes, I think so. I think I'm um, doing great. You invented. Okay, that's okay. That's no problem. The important thing is that you talked about it. So that's good. Okay. All right. So in that case, we're going to start with our next topic, which is talking a little bit about people's appearance. Do we understand what is what is the word appearance? Apariencia. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to be talking about people's appearance, okay? We're going to be describing people's appearance. So I want you to tell me if you can see my screen. Mm, just give me a moment. Mm. I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. My sister takes up for a moment. Voice it. Voice it. Okay, can you guys see it? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we can describe basically three things about people or three major topics. The first one is the hair. Second, the age. Third, the height. 
Okay, so let's start with the hair. Okay, we can say the hair is long brown hair. Can you repeat? Long brown long, hair. Long brown long, hair. Long hair. Mm -hmm. Exactly, long brown hair. Okay, so any questions about that? <coughs> no. No? No. Mm. Okay, then we have short blonde hair. Everybody? Short blonde hair. Short blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Very good. Then we have straight black hair. Straight black, black hair. Mm -hmm. Straight black hair. Repeat, straight black hair. Straight black straight hair. Straight black hair. Black hair. Good. Then we have curly red hair. Curly red curly hair. Curly red hair. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Bald. Bald. So bald is when they have no hair. Okay. And then we have a mustache and beard. A mustache, a mustache and beard. And beard. Uh, a mustache. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. Questions? Out. No. No. <laughs> All right, then we're talking about age. We can say that someone is young. 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 Mm -hmm. Then we have middle-aged. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Elderly. 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 Mm -hmm. Handsome. 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 Mm -hmm. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Pretty. 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 So these are like the looks, like the opinions of the people, and these are the ages. Do you have any questions about this vocabulary? Mm. No. A straight black hair. Yeah. 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 Okay, so straight is talking about something that is the hair goes like that. Not like this. Either. For example, my hair is curly. Um, but this is straight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? So far, so good. No questions? No questions? No? No. Okay. All right. Height. Let's talk about the height. We can say that someone is short. Okay, so short. short. Yeah, short. Repeat. Short. Short. Fairly short. Fairly short. short. Fairly, okay. So fairly short means that they're not exactly short, but a little bit short. <laughs> okay. Um, medium height. Medium height. Medium height. height. Mm -hmm. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. So you basically, yeah, they're they're tall. And then we have 
Very tall. Very, Very tall. tall. Okay. Questions? Anything else you want to ask about? No. No? Okay. All right. So other words, we have here other words. What are the words can we use to describe someone? Um, so... We can say, um, thin, hmm? thin, delgado. Thin, yes, very good. Thin. The person is thin. Chubby. Okay, very good. Chubby. Mm -hmm. Slim. Slim, good. What's the difference between thin and slim? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so um, it's not, a, there's not a big difference between thin and slim, but um, I would say that somebody that is thin is, um, usually somebody um who um, just naturally their body is doesn't have very much fat but somebody who's slim is somebody um that um so how can i explain it um Okay, so thin usually is like somebody that you would you would see like with um a little bit um what would like more like um without, without muscles thin yeah exactly like yeah basically you're just saying that they don't have very much fat that's what thin yeah. is. okay so the person doesn't necessarily like go to the gym or anything they just simply naturally they don't have very much fat in their body yes okay but somebody okay. who's slim is usually somebody that works to be that way so a slim person doesn't look um uh doesn't look like bony Usually a slim person has like a little bit more of a structure to their body because um you know uh they they maybe they work they work out or they take care of their body. So it's it's not just that they don't have very much fat, but maybe they have they can even have a little bit of muscle. That would be somebody who's slim. Does that make sense? Yes. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Oh, there's also another word, which is slender. Slender. It has this kind of the same idea as slim, but it means more like elegant, slim and elegant. Okay, slender. How do you say it? And it's usually some, slender is usually somebody who looks like tall, because they're slim. Okay. How do you say slender in Spanish? Porte. Huh? Alguien con porte? No. Esbelto. Esbelto. Exactly. Yeah. So somebody that uh, they they but they um they even look tall because of the way their body looks, okay? And then there's another word that is similar, which is skinny. What does it mean skinny? Mm. 
Yel. Hmm? What is skinny? Sorry, what is um, skinny? Yeah, skinny. Any idea? No idea. Okay, skinny is somebody that doesn't have any fat in their in their body, and um, usually they have a that you can see more like their bones. Okay. Does that make sense? Like in Buen Salvadoreño, how would you say skinny? Flaco? No. In Buen Salvadoreño, how would you say skinny? So skinny is a person that you can they're usually you can see their bones. So the huesos, their bones. Desnutrido. <laughs> no sé. Seco. 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 Yeah, exactly. And when so then you'd be like alguien que seco. Right? Okay. So skinny. Got it? Got it. All right. Teacher, then, what about the word fit? Ah, okay, good. That's, that's, yeah. So, so, but then again, but fit isn't necessarily having to do with your appearance. Somebody can be fit, but not necessarily, um, it doesn't have to be skinny or slim or slender. Fit just means that they do a lot of exercise, right? And um, yeah, they have a good uh, workout condition but not necessarily that they have a certain body type. Okay, thanks. Okay. All right. Um, so, chubby. Were other words that we can use for chubby? It could be like heavy. Do you understand what it means to be heavy? Yeah. Sure. I have a question. Uh -huh. Yeah. The word chubby no is the offensive. No. What? Oh, yes. The word chubby mm -hmm. no is the word offensive. The word chubby what? Offensive. It's uh, offensive. Offensive. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, no, not no, no, it's not really. What is chubby? What's the equivalent of chubby in Spanish? Gordito. Yeah. Uh, um, actually, it would be more like rellenito. No, relleno. Rellenito. Oh, rellena. Okay. Rellenita. Which is not actually oh. offensive, in, even in Spanish, right? Ella es rellenita. Es como más ca de cariño, de hecho. Ah, ok. Right? Ok. But heavy, heavy is a very polite way of saying fat. Ok. So, heavy, we can, we can say that another word for heavy is fat. But Heavy is a little bit more uh, polite. Okay? Yeah? Okay. And we also have, um, oh, what's this one? Stock, um, stocky. Do you know stocky? No teacher. Anybody know Stocky? Mm 
No? Okay, so stocky is, we can call a man, um, a man that um, maybe, it could be either, it, it could be either one of two things. Um, stock could be like a, a man that's like tall and big naturally, or it can also be a man that is goes to the gym and does a lot of exercise, but his body is like like this. Okay. With volume. Yeah, exactly. With volume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How would you say stock in, in Spanish? Musculoso. No, not necessarily. Buen salvadoreño cholo. Exactly. Exactly. In buen salvadoreño would be like cholo. <laughs> right? A, a cholo eh, no significa necesariamente que va al gimnasio. No. Right? Alguien puede ser cholo y simplemente porque tiene bastante volumen en su cuerpo y se mira así como. ¿verdad? Pero. Ajá, como, ajá, exactly, yes. Dígalo, dígalo. Matón. Mm -hmm, exactly. Matoncito, right? Okay. Yeah. And this is the way their body is made. Okay. All right, good. Okay, um, so those are other words or expressions. It, for hair, also we can say that the hair was wavy. Okay, so wavy hair is like between curly and straight. So like this, wavy. Do you understand wavy? Ondulado. Ondulado. Yeah, exactly. Right, wavy hair. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Um, let's see what else we could talk about. Shaved. Shaved head. Is that pretty clear? Shaved head. Yes. Why is shaved? Shave okay, a Hmm. Afeitar. Yeah, yeah. So it means that you use the razor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Long. Okay. Um, what else we can use for appearance? Mm -hmm. Oh, um. Anything else that we can talk about? No? Okay. All right. So let me clear this so we can go on to the next part. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about yourself. What words would you use to describe yourself? Okay, I want you to make a short paragraph, maybe use like five sentences, five, six sentences to describe you, describe yourself. Okay, so I'll give you a few minutes to write a paragraph describing yourself, okay, describing your appearance. Okay.
Okay, are you finished? A short paragraph describing yourself? Yes, no. Yes. You have one more minute. Okay. Okay, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna put you into breakout rooms. You're gonna share your paragraph with your, with your partner, and then you're going to describe your partner, okay? Not writing, just speaking. You're gonna describe your partner. So you can say, you are, I know, sé que es difícil uh, poder ver, o sea, por ejemplo, no, no nos vemos completos, ¿verdad? De, 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 de pies a, cabezas, a cabeza, pero um, at least you can describe the face, okay? All right? Okay, so do we understand what we're going to do? Yes. Okay, let's um, so we recreate the groups. Um, a second. Uh, Catherine, are you going to participate? Yes. Okay. Um, y quiero ver qué más. Catherine Suleima. Yes. Okay. Laura Lisset. Yes, okay, perfect. All right, so I'm opening the groups right now. Yes, and who is our describing? ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Como perundulado? Wave, hair. Hair, hair, wave. Water. But are you describing you? Okay. 
estás describiéndote a, a ti ahorita. No, a, a usted. Ah, ok. So, first you're, you are reading your description and then you can describe your partner. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay, Laura, I will describe me. So, I am fairly short. Uh, I'm thin. And I'm thin that I am pretty and good young. I have wave black hair. I have brown eyes. And I use that. Okay, uh, wavy. We say wavy. Wavy. Mm -hmm. Black hair. Yeah. Okay. That's saying. All right. ¿Cómo me dijeron? ¿Ondulado? ¿Ven ondulado? ¿Wavy? ¿Wavy? ¿Black? ¿Ella es brown? Tono trigueña, ¿cómo se puede decir? I don't know. What was, what, was what, was, what was the, the word? De piel trigueña. Oh, um, you can say olive skin. Olive no. skin. Along skinny. All of. All of. Yeah, I'll write in the chat. All of skin. All of skin. All of skin. All of skin. Mm -hmm. All of skin. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Are you girls finished? Yes. Yes? Okay. All right, we're going to close. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. All right. So, do you have questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation? No questions? No, teacher. Okay, so remember it's wavy. Okay, we say wavy. Wavy, okay. Okay. 
All right. Okay, let me just take attendance and for the last time we have Ana Isela Janis. Ana Ruth Perez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Diana Cristabel Melendez. Present. Great. Um, Gerardo Jose Tepas. I'm here. Okay, very good. Jose Mauricio Martinez. Present. Excellent. Um, Juana Margarita Sea. Juana Margarita. Catherine Suleima Pocasangre. Present. Very good. Um, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present. Cathy eh, Jordana. No. Um, Laura Lisset Peña. Okay. Um, Lorena Araceli Hernández. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Eh, Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. No. Lorena, sorry, uh, sorry, Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. En eh, Mirna del Carmen Rano. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Eh, Oscar Otoniel de Cruz. Present. Very good. Eh, Roberto Carlos Alberto, pero Alfaro, perdón. Present. Okay, thank you. Eh, Salvador Antonio Man, uh, Martínez. Present. Good. Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar. Present. Excellent. Tamara Eugenia Aguilar. Present teacher. Great. And Ursula Adriana Burgos. Ursula Adriana Burgos. Okay. All right, guys and girls. So that's going to be all for today. Um, and I would see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Any questions before we finish? Oh, teacher, thank you for your time. You. Have a good night. Good night. Have a wonderful night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye.